sorry for the small uh, delay in the lecture, but in the previous lecture, we talked about an application of Euler's method and Euler's method, um, and using that method to approximate certain characteristics um, that are functions of time for each other. So in today's lecture, we're going to be discussing about behavior equals is equivalent to temperature. So behavior that sort of acts like temperature. And with that, we're going to be using a differential equation from Newton's law of cooling, or involved with Newton's law of cooling. Now most people would think of Newton as the guy who created the calculus or the guy who made the made gravity, but this is actually one of his most important um, discoveries or achievements, which is this law of cooling, which describes um, as a body, um, the temperature of a body that's influenced by outside temperatures. So that's kind of applicable to our study because we can discuss about a person who's deciding based on what he sees around him or what's around him, what suggests around him. Well, of course, this is all hypothetical. This is not something that could actually happen. This is more high, um, hypothetical stuff. So let's begin with a guy named Jeff. All right. So on the inside, his condition is male, but many of the factors around him suggests or makes him want to think that he wants to be a female. So on the inside, he's male. But the outside is female, 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 female. Now, he starts to think that he wants to be female, right? And as time goes by, he slowly, slowly starts identifying as a female as well. This is analogous for, to when you have some object with an internal temperature. So we have an object with an internal temperature T, and then we have an external temperature T, and T slowly converts to E over a certain time frame. This is um, where Newton's law of cooling is applicable. This is done via some experimentation. If you have the book, I sudden I suggest you guys go to page 64, chapter 4, elementary applications. So, a quote here, the experiment has shown that under certain conditions, a good approximation to the temperature of an object can be obtained using Newton's law of cooling. The temperature of a body changes at a rate that is proportional to the difference in temperature between the outside medium and the body. So, so the rate of change of the temperature is proportional it's proportional to the difference between the outside temperature and the inside temperature the outside factors and the condition of our thing and so keeping that in mind and a couple boundary conditions we have the differential equation du over dt is equal to negative k times u minus c. u is um, is the variable over here and that describes our temperature with the function of the temperature in c capital c degrees. I'm, I'm not American so I'm using degrees uh, Celsius and it's also it's actually a function of time. It's a function of time. C degrees. So this is the internal temperature, and this capital C over here is not the same as this, but this is rather the external temperature, and this negative K is the proportionality constant, which tells us whether um, it's going up or going down. And we're given the condition that E equals A, and U equals some pre-described temperature C degrees. And then we're also given the external temperature. Now, in the context of our study, if we let E denote the external conditions and we have C, our, um, the condition of the, of the specimen, our differential equation be becomes C dot equals negative K times 
um, C minus E where C dot is equal to D C over D T there C dot capital C dot not small C dot and so we're given some initial condition or initial temperature now it's easy to conjecture that C is equal is an exponential function so that's simply just um, our external temperature E plus C times E to the negative KC on KT since C is a function of time this is our general solution that if we're given some initial conditions such as an initial um, thingy so if we let the positive domain of integers be male and the negative domain of integers be female of course this is interchangeable then if E is positive that means we are the, temp the inside condition of the specimen is starting to want to become male so I'm gonna put up an example here so let's um, I'm gonna write this on top C dot is equal to um, negative K times C minus E now yep so K so K and then our general solution C capital C is equal to E plus C times E to the negative K where K is our proportional constant and it's determined after we're given some initial conditions and we solve the pro and we find the particular solution so let's make an I'm gonna make an example here so you guys get an in-depth version so let's say that at time equals zero the person wants to identify as male so you I'm seeing an example from the book, so I might accidentally write some stuff from the book. So C is equal to, let's say, um, 3. And when T is at 3 seconds or 3 days, maybe 3 minutes, any unit of time, C is when is not to 5. Now let's solve the differential equation. Now we just didn't put the necessary values and find the things here. So over here we just we have okay let's solve the first boundary of initial conditions and find the particular solution for this these this um these initial conditions. So just input it. three equals oh um also our outside temperature is female. So I'm going with negative thirty. That's negative 30 plus C. Oh, C. Um, oh, yeah, it's E. Let's see. It's E. E plus E. Yeah. Okay, so 10 plus C. So that's C. So um, to find this C over here, right, I'm going to call it D. Capital D. D is found by uh, um, inputting some initial conditions here. So at C plus 3 plus D. So that's let's transpose that. So for these initial conditions, T is just, uh, yeah, since this is zero over here, it vanishes to one, so we have D, and then this becomes 33. D equals 30. So C is equal to E plus 33 E to the 
the negative case. And that's our um, general solution for this set of initial conditions. So, and then, we now we'll do some algebra to find it. So we know that C equals three at P equals zero. So we can find E over here and maybe K. Yes, so C is three equals uh, E, E is negative 30 plus 33 E to the negative K. Now it just vanishes to one. You can prove that easily. 33 transpose equals plus 33 E to the negative K. Divide both sides by 33. And we get E to the negative K equals one. And so we just take the ln of both sides. And then we get negative kt equals zero. Now k negative k is just zero to be zero. K doesn't matter, but our particular solution for this problem is C is equal to negative 30 plus 33 e to the negative for this. So it's done. Now for this one, let's find the general solution for this. So 5 equals e plus um, t, e to the, this is 3, 3, so it's negative k, there. So uh, if we use the value over here, 33, we have 5 equals uh, e plus 33 e to the k. And so, um, if we use k equals zero, this matches to one plus thirty-three, and so it's five minus thirty-three. So that's um, twenty-seven. Negative twenty-seven equals. E. That's e. And so, uh, our particular solution is C equals uh, negative 27 plus uh, 33 E to the negative 3, uh, negative uh, K3, or D actually, there. So that's an um, application for Newton's law pooling. Um, next, our next lesson will be trap conversion gas. So the first part, the first part of conversion armaments at this growth trap. So trap conversion gas is going to be using a simple um, differential equation involving chemical conversion. Page 65, as you guys read up on it, or advanced study on it. And so that's it for this lesson. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm really sorry for the small error at the end. Bear with me. So thank you for that.